Hi everyone, Fridhi Bhaiya from TGT and welcome to another video. Let's talk about the new macOS update. Apple has released macOS Monterey 12.3.1 to the public. This update came two weeks after the public release of macOS 12.3, which was a major update. Along with this, Apple also released iOS 15.4.1, iPadOS 15.4.1 with battery drain issue fix, watchOS 8.5.1, Apple TV OS 15.4.1 and also HomePod OS 15.4.1 to the public. I have made a separate video for the iOS 15.4.1 update. The link is there in the description box below. To check for this update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update and you should see your update available here. As you can see, this update came in around 1.34 GB in this mid-2017 MacBook Air 13-inch and depending on the device you have and the version you are on, this size should vary. Before the update, let's check the build number. As you can see, the version is 12.3 and the build number is 21E230. The available free storage in this Mac is 63.34 GB out of 128 GB. Now before I update, here is a quick request to subscribe to TGT. This is a dedicated channel for the Apple users and I post important Apple related videos here regularly. So do subscribe to get the latest updates from Apple. Let's now proceed with the update. Well the update is now complete. Let's go to about this Mac again. Here you can see the version is 12.3.1 now and the new build number is 21E258. After the update, the available free storage is around 70GB. So this update cleared some storage space in this Mac as well. Talking about the new features and changes, in this update, Apple has fixed an issue where USB-C or Thunderbolt external displays does not turn on when connected to a Mac Mini 2018 model as a secondary display. So Mac Mini 2018 users, if you were facing issue to connect to a secondary display to your Mac via Thunderbolt port, that should work now. Mainly the issue was when the display goes to sleep, it wouldn't turn on again. Secondly, this update fixes a Bluetooth bug. Bluetooth devices such as game controllers were getting disconnected from your Mac after playing audio through some Beats headphone on macOS 12.3. This macOS 12.3.1 update fixes that issue for you. Also after updating to macOS Monterey 12.3, some users were reporting that their Macs are running slow and were generating lot more heat. The issue was mostly for older Macs. After an update, it is normal for your Mac to run a bit slow because it keeps on indexing for a few hours. But some users were having that issue even after a few days. I was not facing that issue in this 2017 MacBook Air. Do tell me if macOS Monterey 12.3.1 solved that issue for you or not. Also, I was facing issue with AirDrop while trying to transfer videos from my iPhones after updating to macOS Monterey 12.3. I think that issue has been solved as well. macOS Monterey 12.3.1 also includes some security fixes. If you go to the Apple security update website and then go to macOS Monterey 12.3.1. Here you can see there are two CVE entries. The first one is related to Apple AVD. This is actually an out of bounds write issue which Apple fixed across all the devices. The next one is related to the Intel graphics driver where an application may be able to read kernel memory. So these are the two updates that Apple mentioned about. There may be something more which they didn't mention. Performance and stability wise, this is running without any issue so far in this late 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. Apart from that airdrop issue which I mentioned earlier, macOS Monterey 12.3 was also very stable. The overall battery life of macOS 12.3 was average, at least for me. Battery life of macOS 12.3.1 will take some time to report. With macOS Monterey, I get around 6 to 7 hours of battery life in this MacBook Air, but it varies depending on the task I'm doing. After all these years, the remaining battery capacity in this Mac is 88%, but this is a third party app. Now for the benchmark scores, let's run the Geekbench 5 here. 
and the scores for the Mac OS Monitor 12.3.1 are 630 for the single core and 1502 for the multi core. Both the scores are down from the Mac OS Monitor 12.3, but it may happen sometime as I am running Geekbench just after the update, and at this point, a lot of background processes keep running. The scores usually improve as the system stabilizes. So if you are running macOS Monterey 12.3 already, I think you should update to this version. This version is stable and will make your Mac more secure. If you are still on macOS Big Sur or Catalina, right now there is no new update for you. And of course, do not forget to back up your Mac before the update. That's it for this video guys, do share your experience about this update as well. Do like, share and please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.